What's up, guys? Hey, guys. So we have a small little news section for you guys. There's a couple of things that we're going to talk about. Um, the first on the list is uh, the factor that right now Card Kingdom is uh, having lots of delays because of the coronavirus. Yeah, they're... No, uh, they already shut down their um, oh, no. uh, warehouses. Um, they're supposed to get their warehouses back online next month on the night. Um, hopefully. Yes. Um, they are still being quarantined down that way. People are being forced to stay indoors. Yeah. So, with that, that also... With that saying, you can still sell your cards to Card King, but it'll take three to five days to get your money back. Yeah. Um, but if you buy a card from Card King or a box, uh, they won't ship it out until after the night. Yeah. If they're allowed to come back, they will um, put something up telling us when you go to the website if they're back or not. They explain that all in the little thing once they you go to the website. The C O V D nineteen. COVID-19. COVID-19 thing will pop up. You click on it and you read through it. Yep. Um, it'll tell you everything that's going to be happening. So, Card Kingdom and TCG Player. So far right now, we've found er, that the only thing actually sending out cards right now is Amazon or eBay. Yep. So, if you want to buy your cards and stuff, go there or go to Walmart. Yep. You won't be able to get booster boxes from Walmart, but unless you buy it online. They do have booster boxes, but you have to buy it online, which is stupid. Yeah. Um, should be on the shelves. If they want to make money, they need to put their booster boxes on the shelves. Yeah, honestly. But, they don't. They put all the crap on the shelves. Like, this new set that, uh, before this newer, newer set, what is it called? Heroes Beyond Death? Yes. It was crap, guys. Like, literally, prices just <coughs> tanked on that box. Yeah. And it's not worth it paying a hundred dollars for a box that you might get thirty dollars out. Yeah. Um another place that you can get some more information about all of this at is um if you go to um Magic the Gatherings YouTube specifically um today, March twenty uh March thirtieth, um Blake and Steve uh went over a couple things uh, and we're talking about key dates of when they plan on things going on. Um, if you want to go to YouTube, go to Mag the Magic the Gatherings page and go ahead and check out that new update. Um, they have lots of good information for you right now. Um, the next thing, let's go ahead and go right into um, what's going to be happening with Aquaria when we finally do get to see it. Um, I am really excited about this set, as I am with every set, but this one's a little bit different. They won't be doing um, Planeswalkers. They still got Planeswalkers. No, I mean like decks. Their uh, decks are No, good. they're not doing the Planeswalker decks that you can buy in the stores, uh, they're putting out different decks to buy in the stores. Yep. They won't have planeswalkers in them. Yeah. 
they're supposed to be um, pretty much behemoth type creatures. Um, Even though they're thinking of like putting Kiora in I'm, this set. It so makes sense. I don't see why they wouldn't make Kiora a commander deck. Or a planeswalker. It is. Or at least a planeswalker. Or a planeswalker deck. But they are coming out with five new commanders, which is supposed to be dope. Yes. So, the next thing on our list is some uh, new mechanics that they're supposed to be coming out with. Um, one is called Mutate, something you can do to a creature, possibly multiple times. So far, this has already been hinted at in the set Unsanctioned. Uh, if anybody remembers that, we didn't really cover much of that. Yeah, I think we opened a box. We, we haven't opened a no. box of Unsanctioned. No, your brother got a box of Unsanctioned, and we saw some but of what was there. I on. still don't get the whole movie. Um, there's not very much information on it. doesn't say it. anything about the mutate, so we don't know if we're supposed to put two creatures together, like in unglued and stuff like that, or if it just puts plus one, plus one counters on your creature, but it seems like a cool mechanic to get into if we learn more about it. Okay, next. Um, the next is another mechanic called Foreshadow, uh, or uh, if this indeed, it, if it, it even is a mechanic, um, it will involve counters. Um, there's a card with the text, Remove 8 Foreshadow Counters. So that's something to look forward to. Um, I, it, I think it's just a it cause and effect kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't really say, like it, it's honestly. Kind of um, um uh, as uh, I read on it, um, yes, as you might know, there's a planeswalker named Kior. Her name is almost like an anagram of Akoria. So, once again, might be something that we see is um, Kiora jump into this in some way, shape, or form. If not, she is a big part of the storyline, most likely. And if she is a big part of this storyline then chances are she's going to um she's going to be a big part of it so uh the next thing is counters speaking of counters the set uses a ton of different counters um Maro, i believe that is one of the um wizards of the coast people um hence that the set has 13 different types of counter, and the 13th being a Planeswalker loyalty counter. So... There's I don't probably going to be a couple of Planeswalkers, but I don't get why they're not putting Planeswalker decks. Yeah. If they're going to put Planeswalkers into the set, why not put Planeswalker decks to the I side th like everything else? I think they just want to focus on the Behemoth side of it. Because that's so what Aquaria awesome is supposed though. to be. Yeah, and uh, I watched some spoilers. I'll get to that after we get done with um, the information. Actually, that's the next thing is spoilers. So far, there have been zero cards spoiled. Uh, that that's has changed. A lot. That I I read this about a week ago. Um, that has <laughs> changed. Oh, you threw wrong. This has changed within at least the last three days. The last three days, we just saw that a different country actually got booster boxes out sooner than we did. Yeah, and there's some cards and that have been revealed. There has been three cards so far that has been revealed. Uh, I watched it on... Uh, on a different YouTube channel. He's really cool. Um, Bad Boy Gaming. Joey Moss. Bad Boy Gaming. And uh, the reveal cards, two of them, are Godzilla. Yeah. Like, seriously, Godzilla. <laughs> and then the other one is Caesar. 
Ooh. His name is King Caesar. And then the other part of it is in a different language. That's kind of so going back to this last set of Eldraine, um, not Eldraine, um, Theros. What? Well, Greek mythology, he, uh... Yeah, but Godzilla's from Japan. No, 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 no. he's talking <laughs> about, uh, Caesar. Caesar is uh, supposed to be Greek. Yeah, but he is actually a cat. Oh, that's interesting. It's a cat creature that is legendary. Hmm. And these three cards ain't gonna be in the box. They are buy a box promos. Hmm. So these three cards, uh, I don't know how they're doing it. He doesn't know how they're doing it. But those three cards, when you buy a box, you will either get one of the cards or all three of the cards. I'm not sure how that works yet, but... Dude, Godzilla. <laughs> yeah. As a card, that's dope. <laughs> I I I just want Godzilla. <laughs> uh, and also, guys, we are thinking about getting two boxes. Yeah. One for ourselves and one for our viewers to watch us open. Now, like this mystery booster box we will be setting aside at least five packs from the one we open for you guys yeah that way we have enough packs hopefully to give away for patreons yes uh, we still have lots of gifts for patreons and if you want to be a patreon head over to the about me click on that link right there hit the donate button we don't have much to offer right now, but we're we working got packs. on it. We are working on yeah. it, guys. Um, uh, it's not only that. You will get shout-outs on our channel. We oh, yeah. Also, get to watch videos before anybody else. Uh, I don't really know how to post those videos on there, but... Uh -oh. I, we will I figure figured, that out. Yeah, I can get that figured. I think I saw how to do it. And, um, and uh, yeah, if, before we post the, these videos on our channel, we will have them on Patreon a couple of days ahead of time. Yep. All right. All right, now for the less of the last of this, this is a huge list, but... Um, these are the last things that we found that we could possibly be finding in Aquaria, or they say that we can find in Aquaria. So, um, one of them being Magic Seventh Egg. What the hell is that? I have no idea. If anybody leave a comment, let us know what, what you think. What is a seventh egg? I have <laughs> yeah. What is a seventh egg? Let us know. Like, we're highly into magic, and we don't even know. Um. <laughs> A card text with four or more times this game. So more dealing with the factor that they know you were a part of the game, you know. Um, a card. That sounds crazy. Yeah. I know a card with the text. Total power ten or less. Huh. That's gonna be good. I bet I'm you hoping. that's for plus one plus one counters and shit. You're gonna like this one. What is the biggest enchantment or aura that you know that has given uh, a creature uh, the highest power and toughness? Enchantment? Uh, or artifact or anything like that. Because this specifically says a card with a text, or um, magic's, correction, magic's largest power slash toughness granting aura. I don't know, there is an aura where you pay six and... I thought it was the one from the Eldrazi set, the Eldritch Moon set, where it gives plus ten, plus ten, and trample. Uh, no, there's one in this new, the one before this one, uh, Theros Beyond Death. Um, you get plus X, plus X for the devotion They're of, uh... 
No, they're talking about specifically giving the highest number because instead of, you know, just plus X plus X, they're giving a specific number. Well, in 2020, there was an article that gives uh, you plus 10, plus 10. Yeah, apparently there's supposed to be something that gives higher than that. Oh, God, Yeah, so... But um, how much does that one cost? Because <laughs> the fucking one, that one is, you have to pay 10 mana to equip it. So, yeah. Or 10 so or 8 mana. Here's the next... Okay, so the next one's not as interesting. A card with the text, X is the number of times... This creature has mutated. I still don't know what I mutated. I don't know either. Um, the next one, and this is my most interesting one, Magic's third and fourth card with zero is even reminder text. Oh, that's cool. So that means at some point there's going to be a third and fourth card in the whole game of Magic so there will be two cards that specifically state that zero is even. What? Okay. Because um, there's a card where I think um, it mentions that uh, you have to pay an odd or even cost or something like that, and they have to remind people zero is even. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so there's going to be two new cards that has a reminder text of zero is even. Um, three cards with the text different names. Different names. Oh, I've heard a couple cards. Like that. Yeah. Um, twelve different types of counters, and this has kind of gone back and forth because I swear I remember just saying that they said thirteen. They did say thirteen. Yeah. So this information may be kind of iffy, but it it's seems about wonky. But you know. It's all we got right now. Yeah. Um, and then the creature types. Uh, that's right here at the bottom. Yeah, you're not at the bottom. Um, I'm almost there. Okay. Um, a card that says choose a kind of counter at random. What? Yeah. Proliferate. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a pretty card. Pretty much what proliferate. Well, except for it's not at random, but like add somebody maybe it's something that says um add a random a counter. random counter to target permanent or player then how would it be random if you're adding it to a target permanent or player roll the dice but when if they don't have the counter will they have light counters I don't think it'll work on light counters it might it might. It depends. It depends on if it says any type of counter on target, permanent, or player. That is true. Because if that's the case, then what if it's something that says roll a dice, roll a d20, and add another, add that many counters to target player, and they already have like six poison counters, and you roll a d20, you roll a 20, and they have fucking 26 poison counters. That would be dope. Talk about overkill. <laughs> <laughs> that um, would be awesome. That would definitely be gone in the poison deck. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go with the counters again. A card with the text, remove eight foreshadow counters. Again, we have no right standing music that plays on here. Um, a card that says, choose a kind of counter at random. Oh, I already said that. A card with the text, remove eight foreshadow counters. I still don't yeah. know what foreshadow is yet. In the cycle that players have been asking us to make for over 10 years. I don't get that. I'm going to have to do... I didn't do... I what want, did everybody ask for? For over, over 10, 10 years? years? A different cycle? That's what I want to know. Oh, like, like I cycling? Yes. Hey, and I've been playing it on and off for almost... Six, seven. I've been playing since 2006. Yeah, that's well over. Well over. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's uh, about 14 years. 14 years. Yeah. I'm still a youngster, y'all. <laughs> Almost 30 years old, still playing Magic. <laughs> um, in addition... Our, um, our cousin is 40 and still playing Magic. Oh, but he... Some 
thing. He just. He well, that's just because he just started. Yeah. Too. Well, he didn't even like magic to start with. Um, mm-hmm. I was talking to him at um, McDonald's, and how he put it is until um, mm-hmm. that Chris Christopher guy moved in with him. He didn't even like magic, and he thought it was lame. Yeah. Um. Anyways, in addition, Aquaria has creatures with the following creature types: dinosaur turtle. I want one. Shark beast. I want that. Demon Kraken. That sounds dope. Elemental Otter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's my favorite one, and I, I don't know exactly if I'm saying it right, but I'm going to say it this way. Brushwag. What the hell? Brushwag. What's a brushwag? brushwag. I'm, it's probably brushwag, but I feel like brushwag is better. Um, who brushwag. knows? A Hellion Horror. That sounds good. And she's probably going to like this. And a nightmare squirrel. Yes. A squirrel in a standard legal set. For the first time in a really long time. Because squirrels are actually not in standard. standard. Yeah. Lots of them are at least. It's like nearly one of the most impressive decks ever is squirrels. I mean, you can make a billion squirrels in like three turns. It's insane. Yeah. <laughs> um, so take this information with a grain of salt because um, even the guy that I read it off of, I read it off of um, draftism.com. Um, if you want to go over there and check it out, um, even at the end of it, the guy says, to be honest, or my commentary, not a lot of super useful information here if you're looking to figure anything out about um, the new draft format or the next standard. Um, but hey, MTG appeals to a lot of people for many different reasons. Maybe your favorite creature type is Brushwag, so this is all you need to see. What is Brushwag? Justify ordering a case of booster boxes. To be honest, the vibe I'm getting. We should save up for a whole case. Oh, yeah. That's um, five hundred chunks off from all this. So with the crazy build your own monster directions, encounters flying around oh, is a big similarity right. to There's, unstable. That's also supposed to be something is build your own creatures. Yeah. Which I don't I've, know how they're gonna do. Well, that. I think that's like I think what they're talking about is like the mutate and um like the counter yeah, is, is its own thing. Uh, <coughs> Wizards has info. They said you can build your own creature. Mutate is its own thing. Yeah. How the fuck do you build your own? Do you get to write on the card and say what the creature actually does and everything? Because um. that would be dope. I'll be like, this creature has an infinity well, power and infinity strength. <laughs> well, I don't think that's what it's going to be. I think more what it's going to be is you're going to be able to play like this, um, say, let's just say for, you know, not too powerful, but pretty powerful, a three drop, four three, and then they'll have like equipments and auras that are low costing, maybe even zero, to drop onto it. That sounds a little fishy. That's that's just what I'm getting from it. That's the only idea that I can get of build your own monster and like have it still be like a standard legal thing. This seems like it's entirely based on standard rules, and you never know. You could be able to write out your own creature, man. Which be dope. (laughs) (laughs) Which hey. I could even be wrong because remember they said uh, Planeswalker decks and they're still supposed to come yeah. out with uh, five commanders for this set? Yeah, there's supposed to be f- four or five commanders. And I'm wondering if one or two of them might not be... Um, it's. I think it's been a while since we've had Planeswalker commanders. Oh, they're not doing the Planeswalkers or whatever. Oh, yeah. Huh. It's they're behemoths. They're going to yeah. be behemoths like... Shark Beast. Yeah. I wonder what kind of Shark Beast, because that would be dope if it's like this big old fucking fish that can <laughs> walk 
walk on the land and Did you get the new saddle? Dude. This it. set's gonna be awesome. I'm I'm really excited. So guys I was excited for Theroes Beyond Death, but that set was crap. This new set, I hope they don't overprint it. Like seriously stop with the overprinting and you don't need to appeal to everybody's demand, man. It's it's really gonna harsh our mellow. Um But yeah guys, um if you want, um we just opened a and box of Also um, if you're looking to get cash right. Yeah. Right there. Mystery booster box. We just opened a box. Head over to our last video and check out what we got, guys, if you haven't already. Uh, we got some pretty good stuff out of here. Oh, yeah. It was just, uh, Card Kingdom's prices are going way down. TCG player isn't really taking cards right now. I don't know if you could sell to Amazon. If you could, then... Yes. Well, shit, well, we should try that out, I guess. Yeah. You have to pay for it. But you have to pay for it. Well, well that's just like eBay. Yeah, or, well, shoot, you have to pay to send to Card Kingdom, too, but that's just shipping cost, and that's, that's like all it $8. is. $8. No, and that's probably what it is. <laughs> um, alright, guys, um, I think that's all we have for you tonight, um, yeah. When all this is over um, and everything opens back up, please, 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 please go to your LGS. Hook them up. Hook them Buy up. Buy some cards. Yeah. You don't want to lose your LGS because that's usually where you get your cheap booster boxes. And it's just a fun thing for, like, communities. Remember, literally, Magic is a community thing. Like, you don't have to... I have seen several people that have... You know, they've had beef with each other, and the one thing that they'll still do is they'll go to their local game store and they'll hash things out just by playing a game, you know? Um, or even if they don't want to hash things out, they'll still play a good game of Magic, you know? It, you don't have to take the fun out of it in any way, shape, or, shape, or form. So Plus, if they had a problem with you, you beat them in magic, then you take them out back, you beat them up, and then... <laughs> Don't listen to That's me. it, guys. <laughs> they, they'll stop being assholes after you beat them up, so... It's called stop being a bully, and you won't get your ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Anyways, guys. um, yeah, oh. Patreons. Yes. We got this for you. Out of this booster box, it was the last pack. We don't know what's in it. That mana crypt could still be in there. You um, never know. How much is that right now? Well, mana crypt? Yeah. It's about $130 from the mystery booster yeah. box. Yeah, $130. If you want a $130 card, maybe, become a Patreon. For what? Three bucks a month, even. Three bucks a month. We said... Uh, in our last video, I said the $9 tier will get a pack. But... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. $9 t tier. I mean, packs are about bad. five bucks. Don't, don't listen to me. I... Five bucks or more. Um, um, I don't know how much an actual mystery booster box pack is. On its own, yeah. Uh, if sure. it's lower than five bucks, yeah, three dollars and up, man. Whoever is our first Patreon will get this pack. Uh, and that wouldn't be the only gift. We do have a um, play mat coming in at some point. Please bear with us if you do become a Patreon. As you know, this coronavirus thing is messing things up with everything and especially especially with mail services. I had a conversation with one of my best friends and she works for mail, her family works for mail carriers and they're not having a good time right now. There's, there's, they're short on people. A lot of people are infected. They're trying to keep people from, they're, they're, they're trying to keep people from this stuff spreading and you guys go ahead and keep things from spreading. 
Um, oh, that's right over there. Um, yeah, guys. And also, I got some Ultra Pro sleeves that I bought from Walmart the other day. That Doing was more prizes. Ten bucks. Um, and we got nine dollar cards, eight dollar cards, two dollar cards. We got some cards for our Patreons. We're just waiting for Patreons. So if you want to head on over there. It's in our About Me. It's on About Me. If you want some free cards, some free stuff. Well, it's not basically free. You guys are paying for it. But you and know what I mean. we will continue to do this every month. We literally, we buy at least two, at the very least, two boxes a month. Yep. You're going to get something. Two boxes a month, and we always set aside one pack unless it's a booster box game. Yeah. Which we need to hit up uh, on, on and Ket again yeah. for uh, the next box, I think, after... Because we won that one, right? Yeah. So we need to continue with that. Um, we already sent out the cards for that. And um, we'll let you know when that's coming we up. We decided... Fuck that and get a mystery booster box. I saw, uh, <laughs> I was inspired by the professor from Tolarian College to get a mystery booster box because he was able to get, I believe, five of them before breaking. Uh, I'm glad we didn't go with the booster box game on this one, guys. Yeah. I'm glad um, we didn't. We could have won if. Everybody wasn't selling their cards straight to Card Kingdom. Yeah. Uh, we could have won if we could sell them on TCG Player. But TCG Player, well, they're having a bit of a hiccup and not wanting to take their cards at yep. this moment. Alright guys, that's all we got for you. Um, that's all we got for them this time. Uh, yeah, that's it. Alright, guys. Uh, check us out next time on Playmat Format. Um, the next thing we should have for you is... Um, we were, we were actually going to get a standard, a couple of standard games going, weren't we? Uh, or we kind of just didn't open them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so the night. next one's going to be Brawl. Brawl. Brawl Night on Thursday, I believe. So, Brawl Night Thursday, and then, as usual, um, we're going to try getting you a Commander game on Friday. Friday. All right, guys. You have a wonderful night, and this has been Layman Format.